ಹಲೋ ಸರ್ ಐಮ್ ಶಾಶ್ವತಿ ಕಮಗೆ ಶಾಶ್ವತಿ ಶಾಶ್ವತಿ ಸೊ ಯು ವರ್ ಯು ಹೆಚ್ ಸೈಟೆಡ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಂಬುಕ ವೈಲ್ ಯು ವರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೀ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಕಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಶೂದ್ರಾಸ್ ವೆರೆಂಟ್ ಅಲೌ ಟು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಪೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ರಾಮ ಅಬ್ಲೈಸ್ ಟು ವಟ್ ರಾಮ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅಬ್ಲೈಸ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ರೂಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಟ್ ಕಿಲ್ ಶಾಂಬುಕ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಹೂ ಇಫ್ this rule was in existence even before rama who brought this in and uh, why was this decided upon and why did rama agree to follow this inequality um okay shashwati uh, of course this has been a very big debating point i have clarified to many of the channels and you know uh, some people actually take pieces of you know you you can always take pieces of my own saying and then put it together and probably being a concocted version so keeping that aside your question is a very often asked question first of all i should thank you for that question but before i answer this question i should put a disclaimer my answer is not to convince anybody here or i am not saying that my answer is right as well i am just saying what i have understood and learnt of the incident and while i begin to answer I- i'll give you the context of what she asked many of you r- know the question okay so shambhuka vadam happens in uttarakandam uttarakandam is the seventh canto of ramayana balakandam ayodhya aranya kishkinda sundara yuddha uttarakandam uttarakandam is the sa- last canto with close to 3000 verses between 21000 and 24000 verses is the last canto in that there is one particular sarga shambhuka vadha what happens in that city of ayodhya is they come across a series of incidents which were disastrous in however form they were as to uh newborn children were dying you know we call it that infant mortality rate right so newborn children were dying and uh, similar such incidents in different pockets of that large province there were famines and droughts experienced so the rishis now tell rama because rama was perplexed as an administrator he feels that why should such pockets have famine why should newborn children be dying that is when the rishis say that as far as what we have learnt there could be somebody who is working against the varna shastra again this is a belief see we can i or you can choose to disbelieve disregard or disrespect it that's okay but this was a belief that there were certain professions ordained for certain varnas and there were certain facilities given for each varna each varna had its own facility pros and cons so when you work against the tenets of your own varna it was believed in those days that certain ways the nature could answer it in a different way even today tiruvalluvar who has given tirukkural in the state of tamil nadu tells that if the king does not rule administer well nature will answer in its own way to its subjects that is why it says that if the administrator is very good at the right time rains will come peyyana peyyum malai so malai will also come at the right time so this was a belief so rama goes in search of who that person could be who is working against the tenets laid in that particular constitution of that time while he goes on he sees one tree whose branch there was one person hanging upside down like a valakilya valakilyas were people who used to hang upside down so then he understands from that person and asks who are you that person says my name is shambhuka i have been wanting to perform penance and rama asks why do you want to do penance which is tapam he says i wanted to do tapam because i want to go to swargam by the end of this birth i don't want to leave away my mortal remains i want to go with the same body to wherever i am going then he also says rama there are two consecutive verses he says rama i know that i am i have not been ordained to undergo penance i am doing something which is against which has been told against my varna but i am doing that that very moment rama cuts his head this is the incident which has happened i am just telling you as is now the question is if he is performing penance for not a very super goal or something rama could have reprimanded him could have punished him why should he lose his life the simple way of understanding this shashwati is not to put 
our lens of today and see it that day rather we should say that in those days those were the rules that certain varnas were allowed to do penance certain people were not allowed to for example let's say the man or the woman get into infidelity in the sense the man is not true to his wife or the wife is not true to her husband today in bharat desham it may go unescaped or there may be, there may not exactly be any punishments offered but there are certain countries in the middle east where the lady will be stoned to death now from my perspective it is wrong if she has done a mistake she should feel for it the husband should ask questions why should i stone her to death but the question is i am giving a decision about somebody who belongs to another country whose rules are different correct now similarly we should not see the end, the work of shambhuka from the time period we are living now in those days that was the rule again coming to your question your question was okay he killed her but who had formulated such rules that was your question right who had given they bequeathed these rules that if a person is performing you have to cut who gave these rules that was your question correct it is believed that our time is cyclic but historians believe it could be linear in that case it is believed few of the manus manu is not one person manu is a supervisor for a period of 71 chaturyugas manu could have laid it in the book and they followed it till the t that's all so this incident from our today's perspective from the way we look at equality may seem very wrong which is right fine we are thinking that way but from that time perspective that was a constitution see uh, just to give you an example since this question has come i'm just giving you an example last week there was a burning issue that one of the temples in tamil nadu from a village has been completely claimed by the waqf board there was a burning issue i don't know if you've seen the news articles so a lot of them were enraged how could a chola time temple 1500 years old belong to the waqf board which largely follows islam which is not even that many years old that was a burning issue i was called in many debates my take on that was it may seem wrong to us but there is a waqf board whose rule has been passed by the government if you have to question it repeal the law similarly today when we look at shambhu kavadam we are seeing it from today's constitutional perspective in today's constitutional perspective if rama had lived and if he had killed shambhu ka today rama will be imprisoned simple but it was in those days those rules existed it could have been liberal it could have been less liberal less liberal it could have been very orthodox it could have been cruel that is for us to debate but shambhu ka vadam happened in ramayana times and his decision was based on the rules laid by the manu in those days which may not be applicable today is that kind i don't want to convince you but is that what you wanted as an answer or yeah that that is kind of what i wanted and uh, so we can conclude to say that uh, there are certain aspects uh, written in our uh, epics and which literature. can always be looked and relook see many aspects of sanatana dharma are so flexible that you can look relook amend as per the times it is a very flexible religion okay. very very flexible very very flexible religion so we don't as such uh, shashwati today india which largely forms a substratum for sanatana dharma many parts of india was a substratum for sanatana dharma we don't follow any of those rules given in the manu dharma shastra at all right we have our own constitution and that gives it right so we don't but what we do is certain aspects of manu dharma shastram about character conduct if we can follow we can follow we can be selective yeah we don't have to follow it till the t and we don't have to defend it also if rama had done it today it would have been questionable it would have been punishable but it is an incident that has happened in those days so yeah? to say that all of this has been actually written in the epics and uh, it is suggested or prescribed to f- be followed is not See, really uh, for example itihasas and puranas be it ramayana mahabharatam bhagavatam vishnu puranam in my humble opinion you can learn as well as l- learn to live and you can also learn how not to live so these are all books with lots of shades you can take it the way you want it's like it's uh, okay in a metallurgy perspective they are all completely malleable and ductile so they are bendable either ways you can take it the way you want there's no harm 
absolutely no harm thanks for taking the extra question uh, just to conclude shashwati's uh, statement an orthodox polymath of the 13th century whom i mentioned at the start vedanta deshika 750 years before in his book called yadava bhyudayam states those things that may seem new modern don't discard them just because you hear the word modern just because something is called traditional don't accept it blindly two things that the orthodox polymath in his 13th century people endorsed that statement so if something just because it's modern we cannot say oh no no wrong if it is conducive to you if it is good for the society accept it if something is traditional and is not doing good to the society discard it that probably i feel that sanatana dharma has that given us that liberty both to shashwati and me to look at that way